Chill Army, Deondrox7 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Anime Episode Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 56, Wickstrom of the Elite Four, The Hall of Chivalry. So let's start off with our major events, with the first one being Ash and Go visiting Kalos again, which honestly, it's felt like an eternity since we've seen them go to Kalos, honestly, because the last time they went to Kalos was when they had that whole battle festival and Ash battled Karina, so them returning to Kalos was, that was a long awaited return, so thank god they returned. On the next one is Ash and Go meeting Wickstrom of the Kalos Elite Four for the first time, which the only time that Wickstrom has appeared was in the Diancy and the Cocoon of Destruction movie, and so actually... No, 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 we have seen, we have seen two, two more of the Elite Four. We've seen Malva and Seabold. We haven't seen Drasna, which no one cares about, but Wickstrom, even though he's probably like my third favorite of the Elite Four, I did appreciate his little, I did appreciate his appearance. I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, this, his appearance to the anime was very overdue. And I do love his personality and his sort of like relationship with his um, Aegislash where he's like, where he, he, where Ash and Go show off traits of bravery and stuff and he gets all emotional and then, you know, um, you know, he like, his Aegislash hands, uh, hands a little, uh, handkerchief to him to like, you know, wipe his tears. I love that. I love moments like that. So it was cool to finally see him appear. And this was also the episode where we saw Ash's Farfetch going at it against Wickstrom's Aegislash. So <laughs> finally, we got to see that episode. And Ash's Farfetch to learn to detect. So I wasn't expecting him to learn a new move. I was just expecting this to be more of like a, you know, Farfetch development on his character mainly, which I mean, 90% of the episode was basically far-fetched personality develop or yeah far-fetched character development but you know him learning a new move especially the tech I loved it because it kind of resembled like a little it was like far-fetched going uh, ultra instinct which was pretty funny I just loved how not funny but it was pretty cool it was like a really cool animation where you know um you know where Aegislash is about to attack Farfetch and its eyes kind of glow and then you kind of it kind of like fades away from from the attack I feel like this will I feel like this is actually really good for Farfetch too because if you guys remember from the previous Farfetch'd episode where uh the leak the Farfetch's great trial where you know um Gallade was kind of just dodging effortlessly from Farfetch's uh, attacks. Uh, maybe, maybe you know when they battle, when they battle Rinto and Gallade again, you know Farfetch will use Detect to dodge all of those attacks. And then again, you can't really spam Detect multiple times because the more successful it is, the more likely it is to fail. So. I wonder how Ash is going to actually utilize this in battle. I'm pretty sure he's just going to mainly use it to, you know, dodge and stuff like that. But I'm like, I don't think he's going to use it that much because, you know, if you guys know Ash, Ash is more of a, Ash is more of a, more of an attacking dude. He's more of a dude who likes to use attack more than he likes to actually use, more than he actually likes to use status moves, basically. Next up, we have Ash and Go complete Wickstrom's training course at the Hall of Chivalry. Um, honestly, I was kind of expecting them to do so. I wasn't expecting the whole Hall of Chivalry stuff. I wasn't really expecting Go to be, you know, a part of this episode. I hate to sound like a Go hater. I'm not, but I wasn't expecting him to be that involved in this episode, so... But it was a breath of fresh air to see his Scyther again in that slick armor. <laughs> I was more expecting this to be more of like a trial where, you know, he challenges Wickstrom to a battle and then, you know, they end up losing, blah, 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 and stuff like that. I, I, I just wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting the whole, like, trial stuff. And lastly, we have Go receiving a Metal Co from Wickstrom and using it to evolve his Scyther into a Scizor by transferring it through a trade machine while holding it. I was pretty surprised when this happened because when I was watching this episode, I kind of looked away because I got a notification on my phone and I was answering it. And then I looked up and I just see a scissor on my screen. I'm like, wait, the ghost scissor just evolved just like that? And then I, I kind of like, I don't think I answered anything on my phone. I think I just blinked out when I was watching this and I kind of had to like, you know, 
uh, rewind it back a couple seconds, and then I saw Go putting his Scyther into the trade machine and everything. I was like, oh shoot, Go Scyther evolved. So I'm pretty excited. Um, one thing I do, one critique I do have is the fact that we haven't seen Scyther in like a while. And Go doesn't really use Scyther as much. It's one of his most recurring Pokemon, but he doesn't use it as much as I would love to. So I hope we get to see Scizor. I hope Scizor isn't just, you know, a waste because Scyther has an amazing personality. Scyther is a battle ready Pokemon. He loves to battle. So I hope Go Scizor. I hope Go actually uses his Scizor because honestly, it was a breath of fresh air to just not have him just using two of his Pokemon. It was a breath of fresh air to not see Score Bunny and Sable <laughs> being used for like the 50th time. So I'm glad he took advantage and used um, Scizor in this episode primarily. On the whole, this was a great Ash episode with nice development for Farfetch'd. And I really hope there will be more of this in the future So now. let's talk about our main characters. Ash... Thank you. The gods have answered my prayers. We finally got an Ash Center episode. So happy for that because I feel like an Ash episode was just over. We just need more Ash episodes where we actually focus on his Pokemon. I know Gengar and Dragonite don't exactly need the development because, you know, they're already fully evolved and stuff. They're already heavy hitters, even though Gengar hasn't really been used. Like, he hasn't been used used since he got mollywopped by Karina's Mean Shell. And his, well, actually, Mean Shell and Lucario tag teamed him. So, I'm hoping, like, because, you know, obviously we saw that one scene where Gengar was, like, tr was like um, sparring with Pikachu in the Farfetch's Great Trial, but that's not enough. I need more Farfetch'd. Enough for fish. I need more Gengar um, focus too. No, I wasn't expecting Go to be, you know, that involved with the episode. So I was pretty surprised when I saw Scyther just swooping in. He's like, oh, okay, you can come too. So, you know, it was kind of a breath of fresh air with, you know, Go just, again, like I said previously, it was a breath of fresh air to not have Go just use his Cinderace like he's been doing ever since it evolved. So, yeah, obviously we saw Cinderace just kind of chilling at the Cerise Park when Ash and Go were fighting with the leaks and stuff, but after that, it was mainly Go and Scyther, so I'm kind of glad that, you know, we took a break from Cinderace. Wickstrom, honestly, like kind of like Opal, I didn't really care for him as a character um, in the games, but in the anime, they actually made him pretty likable, and I can't wait to see if we, I can't wait to see, you know, maybe we get to see Wickstrom appear in future episodes, um, I hope, you know, him being in the opening means that he's going to be more of a recurring character, I hope this is not just a one-time thing, I hope he actually becomes a recurring character in the series because i need to see more of him being all emotional towards you know a pokemon's bravery and stuff like that and i love how he actually noticed that you know farfetch'd is a good battler its only problem is that he doesn't he's not in sync with ash just like how Rin rinto pointed out in the last episode so i'm glad that they actually focused on that because you know it, it, it actually, it, I'm glad they added that little detail because Wickstrom spotted the same uh, problems that Farfetch had, the same thing as uh, Rinto did. So I'm, I'm glad we got to see um, more of a take on that. I honestly really liked this episode. I think the training and challenge scenes were pretty cool and unique. Seeing Scyther and Farfetch in armor was pretty funny and hilarious too. And I always enjoy seeing Ghost Scyther, and Scizor is one of the. Uh, coolest looking Pokemon ever so I'm glad it's on the team now so hopefully this episode sets up a good trust between Ash and Farfetch'd which will pave the way for a good character development for the guy and that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to smack the smack that like button and also subscribe if you guys want more videos like this it's 100 free also click that bell icon while you're at it and be sure to check out all of my other content as well but until then i love you all and i'll see you guys on the next video only good chill army